Yo, that is actually humongous horde right now, man. I'd be pretty scared if I were if I were them, man. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Salaviathan and we are back with another reaction to Aiden Zero. We're continuing, we're gonna be watching episode 14 today. Uh, from what I recall from last episode, for the quick recap, um, we had the crew encountering Hermit, who was in like a, a weird trance-like state where um, she was kind of alive, but her mind was somewhere else, or she was in a virtual reality game or whatever. A, pla a place called Digi Digitalis or Digitalis or whatever. I don't know how to pronounce it. I think they said Digitalis. Anyway, um, basically, uh, what was her name? Um, Sister Sister Ivory, I believe that's her name was. I think Sister Ivory. Yeah, Sister Ivory said that Digitalis is actually a virtual world in a real planet. So I didn't really understand that, but I guess they'll kind of explain it more. It may be a real planet that exists somewhere, and then your mind kind of subconsciously goes to that planet. Like instant transmission or some shit like that and they're not really there but anyway so they go into digitalis to try to save hermit who's stuck in the vr they go through the whole thing there's a lot of comedy you know we get to see everybody's avatars professor wise is a female um what's it called rebecca's a cat happy also a cat <laughs> and then you had pino who was a human and then you had um homona who was a dude and then you had shiki who was just a wild guy so they go through the game, kind of meet NPCs, stuff like that. Then they learn that there's this um, mass murderer, kind of uh, killing NPCs and players at two. So they're trying to like figure out who that is, and then they encounter him. So his name is Jamalov. Looks pretty crazy, and we actually get to see him like stab like a shit ton of people or put them in like a flagpole as like a stake or whatever. So. That already in itself has told me that Eden Zero is at a way, way, way gruesome, higher gruesome level than Fairy Tale ever was, or even Rave Master, you know. But anyway, um, that was pretty cool. He said that he worked for Drac and Joe, who was a part of the Ration Six. If everybody, anybody's watched Fairy Tale, that's a group. I don't think it's a carbon copy of the Ration Six, but some of the characters kind of look a little bit similar. The guy that they were, um, who was a leader or something, Drac and Joe. He he had a very he looked like the scorpion guy from Fairy Tale, like a mixture of um, the guy who was uh, the knight to the assistant of Fiore or whatever, and then and then um, what's it called the scorp I don't remember any of their names, but it looked like two characters combined. But anyway, we're gonna get started with uh, Eden Zero episode fourteen. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Turn on notifications down below so you know, know when I upload next. Make sure you check out that Patreon link. Got a whole bunch of content there that you'll never see on YouTube because of the whole big copyright shit. But make sure you check out the Patreon down below. Full uncut reactions of this show and many more and other stuff. We're also going to be starting to do polls there once I kind of like get through the list of the stuff that I kind of wanted to watch. But I'm going to start... Um, once I start having a full plate on my hands, I'm going to start putting some options for polls of things that I kind of want to do. And you guys can also kind of just um, put in your own suggestions as well. But um, anyway, with, without further ado, though, we're going to get started with the video, Eden Zero, episode 14. Let's go. Bro, my Marie. Yo, what is that thing? Bro, yo, his scythe is like omnipotent. Yo, this is crazy. I can't believe Shiki. This guy's probably surprised because he's like, holy shit, this guy literally carried the whole thing. <laughs> But I guess we're not going to be able to see uh, Jamala versus Shiki. He can just log out and like disappear. 
っぱらってくれてありがとう、うん、助かったよいつも丘にいるあの子かいその側どこ町の西の方だよ Thank you. How far is she? Like, what's up with Hermit? Because even on the hill, she looks like there's something wrong with her. Shining stars of Eden Zero. I'm <laughs> not <laughs> Bro, Homura is like one of the most mysterious characters in the show, man. She just does whatever she wants, man. Yeah, she's already there, man. Like, <laughs> I mean, once you wake up, you're gonna be on the Eden's Hill anyway. But. Oh, my. What? What happened? What did, he, what did humans do to Hermit, man? Seriously. Undercover job? Yo, that's crazy. That's crazy. Yo, Homura is actually undercover? I thought she was good. Yo, I knew I liked her character for a reason. I knew I did. What are you talking about? Wasn't your whole planet like, didn't they say we hate humans? We hate humans. And he still believes that, right? I guess it's a group event. <laughs> Yo, that is actually humongous horde right now, man. I'd be pretty scared if I were if I were them, man. Wait, are you trying to tell me that Jamalov has like abused the game so much that he has even monsters from the game's code helping him kill people? Is, is this... Uh, am I getting it right? Yeah, why would you do that, man? <laughs> they don't seem to understand what's going on. To entertain himself by solving us all. Okay, that is a level of masochism that I have never seen in any other show at all. You know when this uh, OST comes on, man? You just know Shiki's about to dominate some shit. Yeah, like, doesn't that mean that Shiki's gonna start getting experience points and he's gonna technically get stronger in the game? And be on an even term with Jamalov? Maybe. <laughs> oh, I didn't know if she I thought- I was wondering if Rebecca would finally get a chance to use her ether gear, but she keeps using Happy for some reason. <laughs> I did not know that Homura was this cunning. Like, she didn't strike me as like the like three step, four step, five step ahead type of person. You know? Does she want something? Does she have something to do with Jack and Joe? Why does she want to be a part of the Ration Six? What? This robot said humans don't have hearts. <laughs> I 
中没のくせにジラビロク様に逆らうのかこいつらは俺がまとめてぶっ飛ばしてやる逃さないよあこっちからのモンスターがあの殺人鬼だ Bro, man, Shino chan just got like demolished right now, man. He was he was MVP this episode. We, we just learned this episode that Homer is a traitor or whatever, and in the same episode, she I didn't think she was going to betray them this quickly. I thought it was going to be like another episode or two. Homer. I don't understand it. She was already on the ship. She could have killed Shiki. Why does she choose now to betray him? There's something more to her. A lot more to her story than meets the eye. That's for sure. Because she's still in the opening. <laughs> Bro, who just jumped in right now? Wait, 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 what's going on here? Is that Homura? Homura. Wait, Homura right here. Okay, and then is the other Homura still there? Okay, very, very confusing, confusing ending there. Um. Okay. Uh, let me collect my thoughts here. All right. Um, all right, so that was Eden Zero, episode 14. I'm gonna just say that right now. Uh, all right, so we got through the game some more. Little re uh, through the game some more, little recap. Homura is a double agent. Now, um, Jamalov, I'm telling you, I'm betting money that when you get him into the real world, he looks like a scrawny piece of shit with no power, no nothing. I guarantee it. Because you killing NPCs, all that stuff, you have to know. It's a psychological thing, right? Right? Like, you're saying, oh, they're not real. But to be able to kill these things that look like humans, talk like humans, act like humans, right? It means there's something wrong with you. So, Jamal is just a, a psychopath, but whatever. Anyway, um, Homura, very interesting this episode. I did not expect Homura to start betraying them right away. I expected it to happen, I guess, maybe in the next two, three episodes, but that was very quick. Um, there's something with the ratio six and Jack and Joe that she's looking for. I'm thinking that she she has a bigger goal, and Shiki and them are just kind of a ways to get there. She's not necessarily evil. I don't get that that vibe from her that she's a bad person. I like her character a lot, truly. What I didn't understand was at that last moment when they shot all those arrows at at Shiki and all of them. Was Homura the the one that was in the NPC uniform? Was she still there? And then another Homura came and saved them? Because that's what confused me. I thought they were going to pan out to the other one and they were going to show that and it was going to be two of them. So, very confusing ending. Um, but uh, I guess we're going to call that a day, call it a day for that. Um, I just got to collect my thoughts. Next episode, we're definitely going to see what happens. Um, I will see you guys around. I do not have a quirky motivational quote today. I us they usually just come inspirationally in my head. Today, I I'm drawing a blank right now. Um, I could say, uh, you know, make sure you uh, never, um, uh, make sure you properly boil an egg, you know, so that it doesn't um, get runny or ugh, whatever. <laughs> I'll see you guys around. Have a great day. Bye.